I'm standing here with Philip Easton, who is Director for Digital Printing Science. Philip, can you tell me a little bit about the new features and the benefits of the N610Y? Yeah, yeah the N610I is uh, basically uh, the next generation uh, digital inkjet label press that Domino's uh, released. Uh, absolutely new at Label Expo, so we have two of these machines made, one of which is in a, uh, has been in the Vita site, uh, and uh, this one at the show. Um, the key advantages of this machine is it combines uh, very high productivity, uh, so this will run between 50 and 75 meters a minute with um, up to seven colors of printing. Um, his, in the past we've had uh, the product obviously the predecessor which was the N600i, uh, that was a four color machine, well this is now a seven color machine so we have a new opaque white which we're showing at the show today. Um, and in addition, there are two additional slots in this machine for an orange and violet ink that we will be releasing um, early next year. Okay, and what is your uh, target for the N610Y? Yeah, the target for the um, N610I is generally self-adhesive label printers. So um, the, the nature of our machine is because we've got the high productivity, uh, we believe, and in fact our, our customers uh, have told us, that this machine very much bridges the gap between conventional printing, such as your Flexo printing, and digital. Um, so our marketplace is uh, label printers, but I wouldn't say it's the traditional company that would be just looking at digital. We really would offer this machine as a, a Flexo mach a replacement machine. You know, we can run 75 meters a minute, you know, within a couple of hours you can easily print 100,000 labels. It's, it's a very, very high productivity machine. So what we say is we have the flexibility of digital and the productivity associated with flexible with Flexo, but in one single machine. But I mean, you are not alone on the market with digital presses. Uh, what would you say uh, differences this machine from your competitors' machines? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously there's a whole range of competitors here today at Label Expo. Um, I think the main differences we've got relate still to productivity against most other um, competitor machines. I think if you look at most of the competitor machines, they're still running between 25 and 30 meters a minute. We're running between 50 and 75 meters a minute. So that would be one of the differences. The other key difference where I believe at the moment we are still absolutely unique is that we have white uh, also printing at those speeds. So although some of our competitors are now getting up towards, I think, 40 odd meters a minute or above, nobody's actually printing white. And, and we are quite confident that we'll have the first seven color machine that would run, for example, 75 meters a minute. I think in addition though, um, it's not just about the numbers. Um, you do need to look at the developments we have in this machine. So uh, we believe our print quality is also the best uh, for any inkjet machine, but also the most consistent. Uh, we have three intelligent technology features, or what we brand as iTech, which really represent the novel developments we have. Um, and they're Stitchlink, ActiFlow, and CleanCap. Um, in this machine and basically that that we feel will deliver a high levels of reliability but also generally just more consistent print results so day to day we're always printing the same way. Where will the machine be available first from a geographical point of view? Uh, okay from a geographical point of view we're releasing this in Europe and North America from this show so um, you know it's um, they're, they're the two main territories where we are set up. We already have service resource in place. Um, this is in effect our third generation machine. Um, if you include our original black K600i machine that we released um, just two years ago and the N600i which we released a year ago. So this is third generation. So we already have infrastructure in place to support this within the field. And um, we are at the moment building machines that will go into demonstration centers in Gurney near Chicago. Uh, and in, in Cambridge uh, for promoting this machine. So can you please give me an indication of the price tag for this machine? Yeah, our pricing starts. I mean, this machine's available four color, five color, and seven color. And the five color machine starts at 550,000 euros, which is um, a fully installed, uh, commissioned with training um, package. And then it goes up to there, uh, goes up from there to seven colors is obviously, you know, over 700,000 euros. And what about the, the return of investment of a labor reel, for example? Can you say anything about that? What is the running costs? 
The running costs will obviously depend on your customers' requirements and it's very difficult to give a precise estimate. We do samples and we have samples here at Label Expo where we're able to provide you know, the typical cost of some labels. So if you can see here we've got some typical labels and it gives you some ideas of some of the running costs. So this label here you're looking at about 2.8 euros to print a thousand of these labels. Um, and um, this one it's uh, what, 1 euro 63 for a thousand of those labels. Uh, that's obviously um, the fluid costing for this machine. Um, what this doesn't include obviously is with a digital machine you don't have all your startup wastage so if, if we were comparing this with Flexo and if it was a short run job you may obviously waste as much material setting the machine up as you might be printing for something very short run. In the case of our machine we're looking at just a few a few meters of waste material between jobs so um, you know that obviously needs to be taken into consideration when you're really looking at the full costing. I mean what I would really recommend is customers need to look at their production requirements and work it out on that basis because it all comes down to how much waste they also get in their setup time on a flex machine. Can we talk about an optimal run length for, for the machine? I mean where, it's, uh, where you get the, be the best cost effectiveness? Yeah. Well that's, that's an interesting question because um, it's a common it's obviously commonly asked again it will vary on in production terms but I can give you a, a reference example our um, our first place where we installed an N600i which is obviously the four color machine um, was Reinders Etiken in Belgium and um, they typically are running um, production runs um, on their other digital machines of less than a thousand meters uh, since they've had our machine um, they've basically not used ours for the very small production runs because um, it ties up capacity on, on uh, you know, the less productive machines. So we're actually running over 3,000 metres there uh, as being their typical run length. So they've now changed their, their cut-off point from 1,000 metres, uh, which they had with their existing digitals, and they've now moved that up to over 3,000 metres with our machine. And, and as I say, typically they're, running, you, they're using ours now for the longer run lengths because... Um, we obviously produce it much quicker. Okay, and the print heads are always of interest. So who is the supplier of the print heads for this machine? Yeah, we, we use the Kyocera print head uh, that obviously comes from Japan. So um, uh, we use a number of different print heads in Domino, but we feel the Kyocera, because it's got 600 DPI, um, obviously the majority of inkjet presses in the market are around 360 DPI or even 300 DPI. Um, our feelings were that for mainstream label applications and to achieve the high print quality you really need a 600 dpi head so we've gone with the Kyocera head so each of our colors um, on our 13 inch wide or 333 millimeters web width has um, three Kyocera heads um, installed and another question that is very common when you talk about digital printing is of course the finishing uh, and uh, what is the possibilities for an inline finishing with the N610 i Yeah, well, um, again, the first machine we installed for the N600, we integrated that with a um, GM finishing line from Denmark, uh, and that's running really well uh, in the field. Uh, we're now integrating another GM line, uh, but we're also about to integrate our first uh, AB Graphics line, as installed here and we are in the process of finalizing a universal interface for finishing line companies. Uh, what we haven't done is um, standardized on one particular supplier on finishing because what we understand is that customers tend to have their preferred um, finishing equipment already in-house and, and where they want to use that we're trying to facilitate that uh, by interfacing to those lines. Uh, what is your, your uh, strategy for developing the, the digital printing aspect of the business? Um, well, our strategy is to follow, obviously, the, the rapid development of inkjet print head technology. So our intentions going forward would be to, to look at improving our print quality further. We believe that once uh, inkjet goes through a few more stage improvements on print quality, then it will become the dominant technology um, for digital label printing and take a larger proportion of the overall um, move from Flex O2 Digital. Okay, shall we, maybe we should take a look at the machine also, when we are here in the stand. Can you show us, please? I'd love to show you. Thank you. Okay.
seeing here is one of the key features of um, the N610i is clean cap, and this is an automatic capping and cleaning station for the printhead that maintains uh, the nozzle reliability and consistent print results um, that we get out of the machine. Okay, so the print heads are now coming out of the clean cap station and they'll move over the print web uh, ready for printing. What you can see here is on the right hand side we have the four process colours, cyan, yellow and magenta. And on the left hand side we have the brand new double white which is an open, the most opaque white uh, printing for obviously your clear labels. And in the middle we have two free slots which are for the two new process colours we'll have next year which will be an orange and a violet ink. Also on the booth here we have an AB Graphics Omega finishing line and what you can see here is a buffer unit um, which enables us to run this machine in line. It's not running in line at the show but it will be running in line and that enables us to really minimise any wastage. So if there is any issue with the finishing line, uh, like a web break or something, uh, the buffer will um, fill up with web and then it can reverse back to the press. So we actually limit um, any wastage uh, to get the line up, up, up and running again, just to a very limited amount of substrate. What we have here is the AB Graphics turret rewinder. Um, and uh, key, obviously, for digital is short run work. Uh, this automatically will uh, transfer the rolls over um, for um, the highest level of productivity when you're doing a lot of short run work.